This morning in Health Watch, soy. A new study finds that men who eat an average of a half a serving of soy a day have lower concentrations of sperm than men who don't eat soy. This is surprising to me. Here to discuss this latest finding is Dr. Ian Smith. Good morning. Good morning. I've always been told that soy is so good for you. Now this. Well, you know, everyone's been told that. And soy is one of those things where six months, there's a good study. Six months later, the study takes it back. And so it's one of those confusing issues. But this issue is pretty interesting. We've never looked at soy and sperm uh, concentration for men. What it found was that men who consumed at least half a serving a day had a reduced a reduction of their sperm count, and if they were overweight and obese, that reduction was even more magnified. This study asked 99 men who had attended a fertility clinic how much soy they ate. That's how this came to be. That's right. So as a result, if you want to have a child, less well, veggie burgers? Yeah, well, I wouldn't go that far. What I, this is what I would say. If you're someone who's having fertility issues, look at your soy content to see if that could be a problem. On the male side, this only looks at men, not doesn't mm -hmm. look at women. The other issue is where you're getting your soy from. Okay. Because a lot of people think, believe soy pills, soy supplements, and one of the problems with those supplements is that they are unregulated, and you don't know how many of the isoflavones, those, those are the active ingredients, the pseudoestrogens are inside of those things. And go, that's the troublemaker? That's the troublemaker. In a lot of cases, even for women who are recovering from breast cancer, the belief is that the isoflavones could actually induce more breast cancer. So here's the key. Use natural things. Soy milk, mm -hmm edamame and tofu, those are good natural sources. Okay, I know in my family we try to eat less meat and so we increase our soy intake. It is still one of the so-called wonderful. Oh, absolutely. Soy is healthy. The Asians uh, have been eating it for 5,000 years. Right. Uh, it's believed to lower uh, cholesterol, your bad cholesterol. Yeah, there are good things about soy, but you also just have to be careful. There are dangers of soy, eating too much of soy. We believe that between 25 and 50 grams a day is the amount you should probably consume. Okay, so stick with the edamame. Yeah. All right, Dr. Good. Ian Smith, we thank you. That is important information.